So I've got my lovely uh, little Zimmer board in here, just uh, running some tests on it. But I thought I'd cover off what it is I'm actually planning to do with this. This is going to be the server for my RF, um, sorry, not RF, uh, cybersecurity demo kit that I take with me to the RF hacking village. The reason being is that this is going to be the sort of dummy infrastructure, the, the inside servers that we're trying to attack. And then I'm going to have these here. So the, the Raspberry Pi is going to be my, my client system. So it's going to be the the user's computer or whatever it may be that we're going to actually start deploying attacks from and seeing what we can get. It's going to then be hooked into a uh, firewall. This is going to be our endpoint protection. This is an old one, but that's okay um, for what we're doing. I am going to try and get this, if I can, running some intrusion detection systems like Circada or Snort or something like that. Um, I'm going to try and get that running on this. I'm going to try and get as much security um, applications and systems that I can running in this network. If I need to add more stuff, um, I will. Um, maybe even an additional one of these, we'll see. Um, but this is going to be our endpoint and do some basic filtering. Um, and then we're also got, uh, this is a managed switch, so this can do some switch port security, which is good. And I'm going to put all this together into a system that hopefully I can take with me to conferences. So, um, excuse the mess in here. Hopefully going to use this. Um, so, some of you might remember this, if you've been on the channel for a while, this is my RF hacking um, case. Let me just get this down here. I'm sure you love the production quality on these videos. Uh, yep, so that's the uh, the battery power. If I was doing this for the, the security one, I would probably remove this battery pack. Uh, just because the amount of stuff that's going to be running on it is going to be very power heavy, so um, running it from a battery isn't going to be that useful. I'll just put maybe a jack on the side that I can then plug into and power it. So I'm thinking of maybe reusing this box because it's got the nice dual compartments that I can potentially use to put all this stuff in. Um, got another Raspberry Pi in here, so that could be another client, or that could be... I would like this running like Suricata or Snort, but it's hard, difficult to get that running on a Pi, so we'll see. But this will probably get incorporated in some way. Probably steal the screen as well. Um, and so I might have it in this. The one thing that I don't want to do, the, the reason that I'm maybe hesitant to use this is because it's... It's very contained, and it... I, I want to try and make it so that you can see everything that's going on. You know, you can see the clients, you can see the server, you can see the firewalls and the security devices and all that. I, I want it to be, like, visible so that it's so that it's more visible experience because I could demonstrate all this stuff just from a laptop running VMs, but it's not that interesting whenever, you know, you have, like, one terminal window open here, another terminal window open here, and you're like, okay, these are two computers, just trust me that they're two computers, and if I do this on this one, you can see something happen on that one. It doesn't look that appealing, um, particularly the less technical someone is. They're like, eh, so what? You made you made one green line go to there. Who cares? So if it's if it's a lot more overt and like you know, okay, this is this is the computer that we're connecting to now. We can plug into it and see it. Um, and then this is the device that we're attacking. I think separating out and making it visible helps. So I don't know whether I'll use this. I might. Um, I was thinking of like three D printing a case and doing something like that, but we'll we'll see. Um, oh, and something I didn't mention when I got this is that it came with some optional extras. Um, so I think they sent me the dev kit, um, and that comes with uh, another PCIe uh, Ethernet. So this is a gigabit. It says 2, two gigabit, 2.4 gigahertz, or 2.5 gigahertz on the thing. I didn't know that was a thing, so I thought it was I thought it was 1 gigabit and then 10 was the next one up. So I don't know quite how that works. I am a bit outdated on my network stuff. Um comes with this as well this is a, a sata expansion card so you see you got a ton of sata ports on here so you see like plugging this into the zim board you could turn this into like a nas really really easily um and quite a big one too uh and then uh, this is a um ssd mdm mdme uh, expansion card so if you want to use ssds on it you could as well and plug that in um, so there's a lot of like expansion stuff, and these are all standard boards. Like I don't know if these were specifically made for it, but I know that you can just use if you've got a PCIe card, you just plug it into it, and it'll work. So if you have another PCIe card or you have some of these lying about, you don't need to buy one specifically for the Zimmer board. You could just plug it in, which I think is fucking awesome. 
Um, so yeah, that's the project that I'm working on. I will do updates as much as possible. Um, editing videos takes fucking ages. So I do tend to post on TikTok more. I am going to try and do more TikTok shorts. Or, um, sorry, YouTube shorts. Just try and keep it going. So um, I'm sorry if you don't like them. I'm going to try and do them because they're quick and easy for me to do. I will try and do more actual videos in YouTube. But um, yeah, the editing quality is probably going to be as good as this because I just don't have time at the minute.